Well, as the Bachelorette expert, I would be remiss if I did not bring up the fact that we had two major splits in Bachelor Nation this week, you guys. First, it was our most recent Bachelorette, Michelle Young, who everybody loves. She was the teacher from Minnesota, and she ended up with Nate, who's like a little bit of a bad boy, but was he edited to be a bad boy or was he really a bad boy? Mm. And people weren't necessarily rooting for them until the finale, and everyone, including myself, was all in. I was like, all right, I got a couple I can support. After interviewing them, they just seemed really like in tune with each other. They were tuning out the noise that she should have picked the other guy. They were planning to move to Minnesota. ABC gifted them a down payment for thousands, a couple hundred thousand dollars to buy a home. They were trying to ensure that this couple worked. How do you get this gift from ABC? Wow. They handed them the check at the finale. And you, you know have what? to bear your soul and, and it go through a whole competition in reality. And it left. didn't even work because they have called it quits six months after the finale. Aired. So that was in oh. December. It, they are now over. They released statements about how much they love each other. But it just, you know, when you embark on this journey and you think you find your soulmate, sometimes you realize it just isn't what you think it We've is. We've heard that before. A classic tale as old as time. Yeah. Um, Indeed. Statement. So they are done, though, which is upsetting. But um, less surprising is Katie Thurston, our bachelorette before Michelle. Mm -hmm. So these are two of our 2021 bachelorettes as we gear up for our new ladies in a few weeks. Katie Thurston was the one who ended up with Blake Moynes. They lasted about three months after the finale. Mm -hmm. And then she started dating someone she sent home week two. His name is John Hershey. They started dating because they were friends while the show was airing after she sent him home Cute. on just week two of the show. And they moved in together. They were all in. That They're the one for me, whatever, whatever. Um, they are also no more. Katie Thurston simply wrote on Instagram, statement, we are not together anymore. And I like words. it. And I kind I of like I kind of respect Katie going with that we're not together anymore versus I just read Michelle and Nate's lengthy soulmate, whatever, whatever. You know what? We're not together anymore. John then confirmed it because some people were like, is this a joke? Is Katie trolling? Because right. um, she just did a social media cleanse for, for a month, which is should have been the sign that, you know, there was trouble in paradise. Exactly. Um, but but yes. also, you know, like real humans... For the three month mark, it's yeah. like where you sort of decide, like, are we actually going to do right, this? Like, it's right. like to break up after three months. It's sort of like, yeah, you know, it's really. It's just these two, especially because she went through that whole thing where she assigned her exes from the Bachelorette a Taylor Swift song on her Twelve Days of Messy. This was last fall, and kind of like dissed them all. And then the last day of Messy, the twelfth day, was Begin Again with John. So it was like this whole journey was worth it because I got to begin again, uh -huh. even though I'm getting all this backlash because like I'm dating someone I sent home week two and broke up an engagement with someone else. Um, so yeah, not you know probably a tough time for Katie, but hopefully Katie and Michelle will maybe turn to each other and support each other through these difficult times because. As we gear up for a new season of The Bachelorette, it's right in time for our most recent two to break up, and the new season starts in July, so. Will they have to give back that money for the house? That's what I'm trying to find out. We know she, Michelle's going to have to give back the ring because she only made it six months, and you need the ring. You need to make it two years or down the aisle to be able to keep your Neil Lane sparkler. Okay. So we know the ring's going to have to go back to that graveyard that ABC has of Neil Lane diamonds, mm -hmm. but um, does Neil Lane, like, resell those diamonds? He really should. He probably should. You just reset them. Who can tell? They probably are on, like, in a couple seasons. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. True. Because they are sort of usually kind of classic. Right, right? and things They're solitaires. Yeah. They're all solitaires, maybe yeah. an oval every year. Every yeah. Year. yeah, yeah, so yeah. tough time for Bachelor Nation. <laughs> Rough. So sorry for that graveyard of relationships that they are leaving in their wake. Yeah. And I don't know why I feel for Michelle. I don't even really know her, but the school teacher in Minnesota, I feel likeable. for her. She was She was really likable. And I think her and Nate, like, kind of, you wanted them to beat the odds because he got that edit. It's kind of like Jordan Rogers and JoJo Fletcher. People thought he was, like, kind of right. not in it for the right reasons. So them beating the odds, like, that was, I thought, oh, maybe he got the Jordan edit. Like, he is a a good person and maybe he did maybe they just didn't work out i don't know but they are no longer hey everyone i'm christina garibaldi the host of us weekly celebrity coverage don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news tips and video and for much more content make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com the official home of us weekly magazine